That's rubbish. I could do with one of those floating Rima holders. Let's make one. Before, I've seen something like that before. Okay, so we need some sizes. Full size. First I'm going to make the main body, which has a three most taper shank to fit my lathe tailstock. It's pretty hard material, probably a 41.30 or 41.40. The taper on a number 3 most taper is given as 0.0502 inches per inch length on diameter. That equates to 0.0502 inches on radius over 2 inches. Therefore, when I traverse the carriage 2 inches, I'm looking for 0.0502 or 1.28 millimeters on the dial gauge. So I've got my longitudinal dial set and I can check it with uh, a slip gauge get it to zero one point one point two come up to zero so that's point two eight actually that's pretty much bang on Yep, it's a good fit. That's it. <laughs> Twelve TPI B six. I'm fitting an 8mm diameter precision steel ball. Checking the ball remains proud of the machine face. We've got to put two uh, drive pins in, which means we've got to drill and ream two 5mm holes. And these have to be exactly on centre line. So to help get the centre, I've just turned up a piece of bar with a centre hole in the end which I can hold in the metal collar chuck. Mm. 
I've made up some stainless steel drive pins from 5mm diameter bar. I'm just going to lock tight these in place. So I found a nice piece of uh, aluminium bronze to make the colour. Just resting one end on the bow and I'm checking for any radial play on the other side as I put it through. And that seems to be about it there. See that? If I push it in, I compress the air, then the air pushes it out. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. So we now want to machine the thread. And we've got a recess at the back for clearance, so I just want to check against the sketch and the depth. Pour into the thread minor diameter. Machining in the thread recess. Chamfering. Screw cutting. Perfect. Now I'm putting a 35 degree angle in the bottom of this bowl. We want to drill some holes to allow the use of a pin wrench if necessary. Looks about centre. Setting the depth stop to 4mm using the shank of a 4mm drill. Chamfer in with a counter sink. I don't have a knurling tool big enough to put a knurl on the outside diameter of this collar. So I'd machine some radial grooves in. I'm now putting horizontal grooves in on the shaper. So the next part to make is the uh, chuck carrier plate. This material is HTTM, hard and terrible to machine. So I've ordered a chuck to use and uh, 
it has a B12 uh, taper so according to this the B12 taper is the same as a Morse worn taper just a lot shorter Perfect. haven't quite cleaned out all the machining marks but from a functional point of view that's more than we need It's time to make the intermediate drive plate now. So I've turned up a bit of bar with a 20 millimeter uh, spigot so I can hold it in the collet chuck. So I want this uh, intermediate drive plate to be smooth and parallel so I've uh, surface ground one side on the other side I'm just going to fit this little piece of high speed steel I'll lock tight that in and that'll be ground flat So we'll just break the edges. So that's all the components finished now. So this is the main body. This has a register diameter which engages with the diameter inside the collar. So when I screw those together, our diameter engages and makes those two components perfectly concentric. And we have this intermediate drive plate with the high speed steel insert. This uh, provides a hardened surface to bear up against the hardened steel ball. And we've got two drive pins which engage two slots. So when we bring those together, because the ball is slightly proud of the surface, it allows some slight angular degrees of freedom. 
and clearance in the slots allows some radial degrees of freedom and we have the chuck carrier plate or shaft I should say maybe which has two drive pins which engage the other two slots and allows some degrees of freedom in the other direction and this tapered surface on this uh, chuck carrier engages the tapered surface inside the collar so when the collar is tight and tight it, that brings all this in alignment into a solid assembly when the collar is slackened you get the degrees of freedom okay so I'll just put some oil on okay so we've got a new chuck looks really nice so that's a full assembly okay that's it installed so it's loose at the moment so for drilling tighten it up and then it's solid just use it normally and then for reaming just slacken it off just a slight amount so that you have some play you can adjust it to what you feel would be right probably about there centre drilling pilot drilling 4.8 millimetres Reaming five millimeters. Perfect. <laughs> 